If you wrote a love letter to your city, what do you think it would say? That's the question Urban Nations Museum in Berlin is asking with their latest exhibition, Love Letters to the City. Nine chapters though, more of a book than a letter. Examining graffiti in street art culture through the lens of gentrification, advertising, the dirty and the pretty, this show aims to create a framework to spark dialogue that goes beyond the confines of these museum walls. So join me now as we try to figure out what exactly all that means and we get to the heart of this love letter and meet some of those writing it. I was feel feeling frustrated with some parts of the city, so I decided to write it a love letter. I think cities are multifaceted and complex. The grime, the glamour, the savoury and unsavoury elements, especially within urban and contemporary art. It's out there in the street and it's a megaphone to the kind of the zeitgeist of what's happening within contemporary society. Felt it was very important to kind of reflect that within this exhibition. There's a lot of conceptual framework within this art movement that maybe isn't always explored and I wanted to kind of bring that into the topics and the thematics within this exhibition. The opening weekend we have Willow Street Festival where we have an extended programme of musicians, workshops, skate ramp, floating murals, artists painting on the streets, all with a stellar facade from Lady Pink. The concept of my mural here on the facade of Urban Nation is a lounging brick woman. I've done a series of brick people. I thought it was fitting for the theme of love letters to the city to have a brick woman as a building, as part of the city, the way you would love a city, like a sensuous, sexy woman. Well, I think that in particular with Urban Nation, I like the fact that there is a museum that showcases and puts the spotlight on these artists that have not been recognized for a long time. I think it's um, an amazing panoply of different directions that I was surprised at the variety. The quality of the installations is outstanding. It's really, they take it the extra mile or kilometer. I want to remind people with this exhibition that public space should serve in the public interest. Whether that's the billboards that you're confronted with, whether that's kind of, you know, the heartbeat of your city. I think that the freedom of speech here is something to be protected. The love letter to, to the city, especially within the context of Berlin, painting here in public space has a very different political meaning than I think in other cities. As we all know, street art doesn't live inside a museum. It breaks out into the wild, and this is exactly where it's supposed to be. It really looks like Urban Nation have taken this into consideration with their programming. A key word in all this is participation. I'm on my way to meet the Korean artist, Jazu Yang, to do that very thing. Bamboo print with the Korean traditional ink. And we call it in uh, Jijang, means your own identity, like a Western signature. We use this uh, Jijang for the really important documents or contracts. In Korea, it's very important uh, meaning. Printing some print is very simple action. Uh, to this uh, simple action, people just uh, start to open their mind and then we just to start to talk each other and more personal story. So I like this project because uh, it's really good uh, project to meet people. For me, what I, why I love street art and urban art in particular is because it's art for everybody. You know, you don't have to have like knowledge about art or you don't have the money to pay the entrance to get in somewhere. So it's free for everybody and also free to, to have interaction with it, you know. Like I, I question myself what street art is, what is the, rule, the role of artists in the city, I don't know. Maybe we're useless, maybe we, we have no sense. Maybe it's just a little bit like a clown in the Middle Ages. Oh, I think this is a perfect place for artists and uh, a lot of uh, artists there. So for me, the street art is like uh, to get people to stop, you know, uh, and uh, look, at, uh, look around. For me, it's just kind of the only way to talk about several things. It's much more than words. It's, it's a whole world and in this whole world I can 
explain things which I couldn't explain without it. Urban Nation is just a great place in Berlin to show urban and street art like from all over the world. So yeah, it's a big, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Here in Berlin, I think that freedom is the word that encapsulates the city. I think that people covet their freedom more than any other city that I've been to. I think there's more freedom of expression than any other city I've been to. And I think that actually within the artistic approach, there is more freedom. I think that people take, come here to take risks. Throughout all the discussions I've had here in regards to the role a museum would play in the world of street art and graffiti, if you strip everything away, Love Letters to the City keeps the spirit of street art alive. By educating visitors on the areas less explored and acknowledged throughout street art history and encouraging participation to take this knowledge and to go get active on the streets. And that fact alone should be worth a visit.